The case numbers, they're rising across North Texas and Texas, and our area is no exception. Dallas County reporting 832 new infections, the most since mid-August. Tarrant County now reporting another 700 cases. And last night, we got word that Attorney General Ken Paxton has filed a lawsuit against El Paso County. The county judge there ordered all non-essential businesses to shut down once again because of a surge in COVID-19 patients. It's overwhelming its hospitals as well. The AG says it violates Governor Abbott's executive order allowing businesses to stay open. Hospitalizations in El Paso have surged more than 350% this month alone. And now the county judge has ordered a two week shutdown of all non essential services. So that includes tattoo parlors, hair and nail salons, in person dining, and gyms. But the El Paso Police Department says it won't enforce the shutdown. And Texas Attorney Gen General Ken Paxton says it violates Governor Abbott's executive order once again, allowing businesses to reopen in limited capacity. Now, the El Paso County judge says he consulted with health care experts, his legal department and other county judges before issuing that order. But apparently the El Paso mayor, DeMargo, wasn't on the same page. It was the shutdown that the, the county judge announced yesterday and unfortunately never even discussed with me for, before announcing it. El Paso County has reported a thousand new cases a day for much of the past week. The COVID-19 hospitalization rate has spiked to over 40%. Earlier this week, Governor Greg Abbott was asked about the rising hospitalizations in Texas and how the state will respond. The governor says if the rate hits 15% in any region, bars will close again and businesses would operate at 50% capacity. Now you can watch the mayor's full interview this Sunday on Inside Texas Politics with Jason Whiteley. That starts at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning.